stands with the help of some scrap lumber and tree limbs. What do you think of that? That looks pretty amazing. Just beautiful. You think we can do that here? Uh, nah. You know what? I don't think it'd be very popular if you could. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't be very popular because we'd have to tell them about this. But we're popular mm -hmm. today because good yes, news. Yes, yes. Much better news ahead. And I think we're going to have a forecast or an extended forecast. You're really going to smile about as we're going to see a nice warm up. First, though, we got to get through the bad stuff. And these are some of the road conditions for this afternoon. During the afternoon hours, the neighborhoods are slushy, as you could kind of see from Will's live shot. The sun is out and obviously you see that's a good thing and it is melting away some of the snow. But keep in mind that some of the areas that are in the shade, which obviously aren't getting the sun, those are going to be slower to melt. And tomorrow morning we are going to see some areas of refreezing on the roads by tomorrow afternoon and into the weekend. We're looking good with melting snow and sunshine. I have updated this since the morning news. If you're wondering how much snow fell across Tulsa County, we had a range only a third of an inch is the official mount, but some places through South Tulsa picked up an inch and a half of snow that Broken Arrow total that is from the uh, Flickinger family estate there in Broken Arrow got all of one inch at our castle. Tahlequah picked up three inches and uh, notice Oklahoma City actually picked up some of the most snow in Oklahoma with totals near three inches that direction. Storm Shield Radar, we are dry all across Tulsa County and we're going to stay dry today. Now, if you do have any big projects in which you need an extended period of dry weather, then you're going to like this part of the forecast as we don't have any big storm systems headed our direction. So dry across Oklahoma, the winter weather, which we did see over the last few days, you probably heard about it. It's now a big storm system working its way toward the east coast, but it's moving fairly quickly. So by tonight, most of that winter weather will be out of there. I just want to show you this map just so you can almost just uh, take in the colors and just notice all the colorful uh, warnings and advisories on here. If you see a county which is highlighted, that is either a winter weather advisory or a winter storm warning. Some of the worst travel conditions right now through parts of Tennessee where there are winter storm warnings in effect for the Nashville and Knoxville areas. Here's a look at our temperatures warming nicely. We're now above freezing. So the warming trend has begun. It's 35 in Tulsa, 32 in Bartlesville, 36 in Chandler. It is colder where there is more snow on the ground, especially toward Norman and Chickasha. Bonita's at 31. It is 32 right now in Muskogee. This is a view from our camera, which is located near I-40 in Henrietta, and you can still see some snow on the ground. Henrietta, one to two inch snowfall amounts. And our Midtown camera now coming back on, you can see the beautiful blue sky, and we'll enjoy blue sky into and through your weekend. 35 degrees right now with a light north wind. The wind is going to remain light, and also the air is extremely dry today. I probably need some uh, chapstick for today due to the dry air. I'm going to show you the future track and it's almost just going to look like a blank weather map across Oklahoma as we don't have any large storm systems headed this way. So no, no large areas of clouds, no rain, no snow showing up. I do want to point out that tomorrow morning there will be some refreezing, but tomorrow during the day what there is of it will be melting away. I don't think you're going to see any major travel issues by tomorrow anywhere in eastern Oklahoma. For this afternoon, I've raised the forecast high since the morning newscast because we've been warming so quickly. I thought the snow would have a bigger impact on the temps, but it's not. 43 for your high today. Around the rest of green country, upper 30s and lower 40s. 41 Bartlesville, 41 Tahlequah, 42 Muskogee. And then tonight, it is going to be a cold night. We'll see lower 20s in town. And where there is still more snow on the ground, say toward Tahlequah, where there was three inches of snow, it is going to be colder with temps in the teens that direction. Here is your seven day forecast and the warm up you've been looking forward to. 50 tomorrow, the nearing 60 for both days for the weekend. Notice the wind not too strong for the weekend. Then mid to upper 60s next week. Patty, we're looking good for next week. Now over to you, Dr. Joe, and your little little guy you have over there. All right, but first we have breaking.